Today I'm going to show you something very basic, but I've gotten a lot of questions recently on how to do this, so I thought I'd do a quick video on it. I'm going to show you how to create columns in your Microsoft Word documents. So before I jump into that, I do want to ask you a favor. I'd love to get your opinion on what kind of tutorial videos you want us to do in the future. It seems like our Microsoft Word videos have been pretty popular, so we're happy to keep doing those. If you'd rather I do some Windows 8 stuff or maybe there's something else out there you want me to do, let me know because I will do what people want to see. So make sure and let me know in the comments. Okay, columns. It's very easy to create columns in your Word documents. So in this video, I'm using Word for Mac and the columns button is right here under the paragraph section on the home tab. If you're using Word for PC, then that button is on the Page Layout tab. So you'll click on Page Layout, and then you'll see a button that says Columns. Okay? So all you have to do is click on this Columns button. And it brings up a uh, little box here. You can choose one column, two, or three or left or right or click down here where it says columns and you can be more specific. So it's got all the presets right here that you could choose or you could also type in right there your columns. If you wanted more than three, for example, you could type in four and click OK. And that's all it takes. Now you can also right here choose to apply it to the whole document or just this point forward. So if you want to do columns for just this point forward, wherever your mouse cursor is, you can do that or for the whole document. So what we're going to do is just create two columns for the whole document. So all we need to do is click on the columns button and just click on two. And just like that, it changes our entire Word document into a, a nice looking, well formatted two column document. We could change it into three if we want to or back to one. Really simple. So again, just use the columns button here and you'll have your columns in no time in Microsoft Word. So thanks for watching. Remember, give me any suggestions you would like on future videos and I'll do my best to create those tutorials for you. We'll talk to you soon.